A pediatrician in the Shoals, though, is warning parents this Delta variant needs to be taken seriously because of what he is seeing it do to children. Way 31's Brecken Terry spoke to him about what you can do to protect your kids. Dr. Wayne Melvin told me in his almost 40 years of practice, he's never seen a virus like this. He said his office is filling up with kids who have COVID and it's flat out scary. This year it's ridiculous. We're seeing many more positive kids and the kids are much sicker this year than, uh, than they were last year. Pediatrician Wayne Melvin said the Delta variant is affecting all ages from newborn babies to teens. Uh, high fevers, uh, we have had a couple of teenagers with uh, uh, cardiac changes that we've had to send to cardiologists. You know, kids admitted to the, uh, uh, to the intensive care at Children's Hospital, uh, that kind of thing. Melvin said what's more disturbing is these kids were perfectly healthy before they got COVID. He said there are some things you can do to keep your kids safe. I would suggest uh, everybody around them be vaccinated, uh, particularly uh, you know, children over the age of 13 can be vaccinated now. Uh, so older siblings need to be vaccinated. Grandparents need to be vaccinated. Um, you know, uh, isolate the kids as much as possible in school. They need to wear masks. Uh, you know, all the things that were recommended last year. Melvin suggests if you don't think COVID is affecting children, then talk with your pediatrician. It's, it's very frustrating. Uh, you know, there's so much misinformation out there about the disease and about the vaccine and about the, uh, you know, the necessity of masks. And, you know, there's so many conspiracy theories that are just absolutely false. Melvin told me he wishes every school district in North Alabama would require masks for kids who cannot get vaccinated yet. He said a couple of months ago he was hopeful that masks wouldn't be needed, but this recent spike has put him back on high alert. In the Shoals, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News.